This is CNN with Jamie Cooper. And good Tuesday morning. I'm Jamie Cooper. This is a live edition of CNN brought to you by the Athens News Courier. Let's get her cranking on a Tuesday morning. Weekend arrest, nabs, burglar, and, quote, laundryman. A security alarm brought Limestone County Sheriff's deputies to New Cut Road Mini Market. Saturday, about 1.30 a.m., uh, security video netted an arrest. Sheriff Mike Blakely said they arrested a 24-year-old, attempted to burglarize the store by pulling on a rope he tied to the door handle of the store. When that failed, he rammed the store with a vehicle, which shattered a storefront glass and engaged the security alarm. The man was later identified by the security video. And so they got, uh, Blakely said the county jail is also in need of a new laundry man following his arrest Saturday of an inmate trustee. The trustee helps do laundry at the jail was arrested because he had stolen another inmate's Tennis shoes. Stealing while in jail. Now, ain't that something. And then last week, two of them got caught for making whiskey or some sort of drink that Mike says would be tough to stomach. We'll talk with uh, City Council Leader Ronnie Marks in just a second, an Athens Today segment. This is in the News Courier this morning. Fire station budgeted at a little less than a million dollars, $750,000. Ronnie says he'll write a check for it today. The Athens City Council established a $750,000 budget for fire station number three. Ronnie will give us the details on what happened last night at the city council meeting, as he always does every other week. Also, uh, over the weekend in the news career, a new city of Madison High School being built inside Limestone County. Expected to cost about $65 million, be completed in a little over two and a half years. Some Limestone County residents and officials have expressed concern that the school will draw a percentage of the county's tax base that is disappropriate with the number of Limestone students that will attend the school. Keep you posted on that, too. Spirit of Athens honored by the state, according to the News Courier this morning. The Alabama Historical Commission has awarded a 2009 Distinguished Service Award to the Spirit of Athens Main Street. The award is given annually to individuals and groups whose contributions demonstrate excellence in historic preservation. You know, last Friday we had that uh, girl on from East Limestone who cooked that flat steak. Well, this Friday, we got the winner from the senior division on Thomas Wallace from down at Tanner High School. He and Principal Billy Owen should be here. He will be preparing that as part of the Cattlemen's Association held their annual beef cook-off. This out of the News Courier also. These are the winners. The Limestone Cattlemen's so recently held their annual beef cook-off. There's all the winners right there. Of course, Abby there was with us this past Friday. The kid on the left here will be with us this Friday preparing his meal. So. Also, this weekend is a big weekend downtown Athens. It's life, legend, and lies. Yes, it's t- time again for the third annual Athens Storytelling Festival. And you can read all about it also in the News Courier. Here's the people that will be there. Golly, Miss Wyndham's got to be like 110, ain't she, Ronnie? But she's as spry as a chicken, too. She's ready to go. And congratulations to the Athens Bible School Trojans. They head for the fourth year in a row to the vol- volleyball state championship coming up this Wednesday. So good luck to those girls down that way, too. And as always, on Tuesday, you can read all about us in the News Courier. Here's our programming on ZTV 11, ZTV Sports Headquarters, Crimson Classic, Crimson Comments, Coach Saban Show, Auburn Stuff, Hunt Fish Cook, and Coach Bowden, who's got the number one team in the nation. Number one team in the nation. They'll probably win it all this year. But anyway, that's and we got Donnie McElroy, Hunt Fish Cook, and the sports buzz, and this program, and me from 20 and 30 years ago yesterday. <laughs> see, it's all about me. So whatever you do, you want to see me wherever you go. All right, that concludes this portion of the show, sponsored by the News Courier.